on the 24th. 24th, 24th, fuck that, Tony. Don't you hand me those pieces of shit. Mal, I was literally handing you the opposite of a piece, piece of shit. Piece of shit. Okay, all right. Indelibly associated all right, with shit. Comment below, is... Is toilet paper the opposite of a piece of shit? No, because when you think about toilet paper, you inevitably think about shit. Just because things are like diametrically opposed doesn't mean that they're not associated. In fact, they're hella associated because they are diametrically so opposed. So does that make them diametrically opposed? I would not say yes. that toilet paper is the opposite of shit. I, I would, would say that like... <sighs> yeah, yeah, what you got, Mal? Like... Like a heart-shaped lollipop is the opposite of shit. No, because you can shit those. Oh, I suppose so. Yeah, see, my work here is done. A heart-shaped candle. Wait, no, it melts in puddly like shit might. Hmm. Good evening. I got a little too real there. Yep. Uh, are you okay? I feel like shit. Oh, you sure should have. <laughs> you sure you should have come then. You're in all the. Uh, you're in all the right to stay at home. I have to come threw away everything I had in my life to be here. People I loved were pushed aside just so I could enjoy my freedom of being here. My stupid, stupid freedom. So I will come here until I die, even Jesus. after the bar closes, until my hair falls out. You're the one who looks like she's about to fall apart. Your eyes are red and swollen. Yeah, well, your hair is. Hairy. Yes, it is. Ah! Who's the dipshit that changed the order of the glasses? It was me. I was the one washing dishes yesterday, remember? Oh yeah, I was too busy staring at my crumbling life and all that. Why don't you go home, Jill? You're in no position to deal with people right now. Go home, rest a bit. My girlfriend... My ex-girlfriend died and I wasn't there to see her one last time. All because of a fight I spent all these years regretting and wishing to, but never actually apologizing for. My decision to assert my freedom and grab a hold of my life led me to this. A bartender strapped for cash that distanced herself from her loved ones for no other reason than selfishness. So I won't fucking leave. I threw all of that away to be here, so here I will stay. This is what I wanted. This is why I left all of that behind. This is why. See, you're starting to sound like a broken record. Oh, leave her be. I'd rather have her here than alone in her apartment. How are you feeling, Jill? I feel like a shit-eating piece of shit. Ew. I'm the lowest of any possible life form you might find. Nanobes look down to me in disgust, knowing they're far superior. You're spirited. That's good. Where's the mutt? Working with Sira. At Sira. I know what I said. In any case, let Jill process her anger. It's perfectly normal to feel that way. And here, she's surrounded by people that care about her. That's a lot better than leaving her to fend for herself. I mean, as smart as Four might be, he's still just a cat. Then why not have Jill stay but not serve anyone today? What part of I won't leave didn't you understand? I didn't leave everyone behind to just sit and do nothing. Fine, fine. <sighs> What do we do if she lashes out at a client? That's why you're here, Jillian. Gillian? Pliskin? Was that, was that like a weird solid, Melgar solid reference? He even has the fucking sneaking suit on underneath. <laughs> wait. Wait, is, is he a weird snake reference? Maybe. I don't think I've seen other stuff that indicates a snake reference. I mean, maybe you're not looking close enough, Tony. And why maybe is his you tie have so wide? <sighs> Who? Hey, Jill. What? I'll be in my office, but if you need a break or a hug, just tell me. Mm. Wow, damn. Dana is like the most supportive person imaginable right now. It's ridiculous. Not only that, the most supportive boss imaginable. That's true. Like, I... Wait, can't, no, no, everything will not just be okay. Uh -huh. Well, we need one, everything will be okay. We've yeah. already got one, everything will be okay. Well, that's because we need two everything okays. B. Oh. B. Ah, well, B! Ah! Oh, you already put on music. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. Ah, this is gonna be an interesting day. The Hall of Hero keeps shining, brimming with the... Do I smell tacos? Wait, it's outside. Never mind. 
Oh, hell no. We meet again, bartender. Virgilio, what can I get you? Today, the luminous pollution on the street makes it seem almost like a starry sky. And when I think about stars, I think about celebrities. Celebrities are fishy, and my favorite fish is the octopus. So I want something octopus-like. Mm. Aren't you gonna do that weird bartending thing? I'm waiting for you to order like a decent human being. I'm not following. Spell out your order like you're a human who is not in need of medical help. Fine then. I want a sparkle star. S P A R R C O L star. Mm. Sparkle star for the. Uh, yeah, that's a stupid sparkle star. I fucking hate sparkle stars. Oh, Mal, careful. No, 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 no. Mal. Mal's gone feral again. Tony! Jesus! Well, let's see what happens. See? Was it that hard? Have you tried to spell under pressure? You look angry, spelling bartender. Are you having that time of the month or something? No, I'm just filled with ridiculous amounts of anger, pain, and self-hate. And on second uh, thought, you're not that far from the truth, I guess. I get those too, you know. Periods. You do? Yes. Last month I finally got over my renaissance and moved to my enlightenment. Ha. Huh. God, that's like the least funny joke ever. Thinking you'd get to say something serious for once. Are you implying I'm not serious? Glaring holes through me will do nothing. I'm glare immune. Also, Mal, I need to be, you need to be careful because you being angry, Jill, is seeping into you <laughs> right now. So just careful. No, it's going to be great. It's going to fill me with so much of the Let's Play spark. No, that's good. I guess I'm saying please be careful because I want to make it. You're worried about yourself. I'm worried I about see. myself in the break. Uh-huh, yeah. yeah. Tony knows how, how powerful my anger can be. But if you allow me to give <laughs> you a sincere piece of advice. Whatever. It's not like it'll help. You shouldn't kick yourself so much. If you keep it up, any chance of finally forgiving yourself will someday be gone. Self-hate will leave you with a hole that will never heal. So please, take measures against it instead of sulking so much. I'll be damned. That actually sounded half sensible. And here I was thinking you were just a pompous lunatic. Hey, pompous lunatics have stories too. Really? What story? I would rather not tell. Figures. You want anything else? Have you ever seen how the... Uh, a bad touch? Bad touch. Whatever. Oh, I, I can't get over this name. It's just a bad name. It's a bad You might say touch. that the name itself was a bad touch. Oh, it's uh, Tony. Here. <laughs> yeah, I guess this is the one. Maybe he's right, and I shouldn't be so hard on myself. Even though I deserve every second of it. If only I had apologized earlier, I might not be feeling this way right now. If only I... If, if only I... I can't even remember what held me from apologizing all these years. Um, bartender, you're making lots of faces there. Pride? Fear? What kept me from going out and apologizing to Lenore? I can't even fucking remember what feeling kept me from fixing this whole situation. Can't I at least find solace in whatever feeling it was that brought me to this situation? Great. Now I'm feeling even worse thanks to not being able to muster whatever feeling held me. Uh, is she okay? No, but just leave her be for now. Uh, hey, Jill! Eh? Oh, thank God. A normal person. Wah! A mummy! No, no, no. I don't have kids. Still more normal than this twat. I think it's twat. Twat? Yeah, if you're being... Cut, it's, if you're... It's, a tw it's twat, Tony. How are you feeling, say? God, I feel so dismissed. My bones are still broken, but at least the cuts are healing nicely. 
Thank God I'm not someone that scars easily. Um, I mean, wounds don't leave me marks. It'd be a problem if I couldn't get scar tissue. What happened to you? Uh, fell off two and a half stories into some trash and rubble. You look better, though. Last time you came, you looked like you were about to collapse emotionally. <laughs> I guess. You're the one who looks like it now, though. How do I put it? It's like when I call you called you your full name, but magnified. Yeah, don't mind me too much. I'm in a bad mood. Anything I can do? Please forgive me if I suddenly lash out at you or anyone else. Do you want something? My tongue's not so sensitive today, so let's have a beer. And you? Such a change in tone. I, I'm fine. I don't need anything. Mm. <laughs> let's make a beer. Wow, it's wild how literally anything he does is suspicious. <laughs> uh, one, yeah, two, I'm one, one, interested to one, see two, one, two, like three, which four. of these characters are important to like the big story. Are we? I think we're already in the big story. I mean, yes, but I feel like there's more. I mean, you're right. There's but... more. Here. Yay! Let's see if there are any differences from the canned ones. And? This one tastes less watered down. So, did something happen to you? I'm fine. Nothing's happened to me. People who are fine don't act like that. Oh, I get it. You're in those days. Mm. When it's that time of the month, I get a bit sulky. No, I'm not on my period. God, this is like the like this is the actually like low key realistic though. It is. Like everyone just being like, Jill, you must be on your period. Mm -hmm. No. <sighs> Dealing with the loss of someone, okay? Oh. Uh, sorry. Don't worry. <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't have come today after all. Um, no, I... Hmm. Maybe... Ah! Uh, Are you alright? I... I'm trying to find something to say. Making a joke would be tasteless, and I can't say everything will be alright without it sounding... cheap. I'm at a loss as to what to do here. Sorry. <laughs> Wanna hear something weird? I was exactly like that when Stella came here on Monday talking about you. Oh. Well, ladies, I'm leaving. Virgilio? Yes? You were just sitting with a Valkyrie. Really? Splendid! This will make a good entry in my poem's blog. <sighs> I'd feel bad about the way I treated him today. If not for the fact that he was being cryptic with his orders for no good reason. And he's a fucking weird asshole. <laughs> like Stella when she first came? Yes. No, I mean... <laughs> you could have given him a free beer or something and apologized. Yeah, I just keep messing things up with people. But you know, he seemed familiar. Plot were relevant, even. Familiar? Yeah, I can't put my finger on it, though. I just feel like I've seen him somewhere. Ah, well, it might just be that he looks like someone from an ad or something. So, what brings you here? Foreshadowing. I wanted to come with Stella, so I'm waiting for her. Why here? To be with you, of course. Aw. That reminds me. How did Stella react when you arrived? She slapped me. Real hard. It hurt. She said, That's for making me worried and not listening to me. And then she became happy. Huh. Can I ask whose loss you are dealing with? You shouldn't be bothered with it. Jill, open up! No! Just pretend I'm in a bad mood and call it a day. Oh, okay. Uh... You really want to know, huh? I can't help it. I don't like seeing people sad. I just need to know context, not details. Someone to whom I said some mean things to pass away before I could ever see her again. Does that work? And then the music hit picks up in the background. Yeah, sorry. No way I can't do anything helps me calm down, but... I mean, it's not that I wouldn't help, I just... Calm down, I get it. I can't contain myself when I see people in need. 
but I've learned that there are times when you just can't do anything, and that's kind of fine. Thank God I learned that. Otherwise, I would have gone insane ages ago. <laughs> You're a good person, say. Nah, I'm just an annoying girl. Still, if there's anything I can do to help, let me know. I have broken bones, but that doesn't mean I can't offer emotional support. You could always order another drink. Oh, yeah, that. Let's do that. Give me something cold, please. All right. Let's give Say something with ice. Yeah, sure. Uh, on the rocks. Ah, perfect. A bad touch. Ugh. Sour. Ugh. Classy. Vintage. Vintage. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus Christ. So bad. Here. It's pretty cold outside, though. Yeah, but I don't like hot or warm drinks. They make me feel nauseous. You know what cheers me up? What? Singing. Hearing people sing helps, too. Do you sing? I mean, did you take singing lessons or something? Nope. People have told me my voice is pretty nasty, actually. Jesus. But they've also told me I'm good with the harmonica. So you play the harmonica? I needed something to do some breathing exercises with, and a harmonica is a lot smaller than a tuba. And I guess if you practice enough, you become decent. That's something I didn't expect. I hear that a lot. I know I don't look like the musical type. I used to play the violin, right until I was 16 or so. Really? Can you still play? The violin's at my mom's house, so I don't have it with me. But I guess I could. It's one of those things you don't forget easily. Ah, uh, like a bicycle. Uh -huh. Which, by the way, that's a bunch of bullshit. You do forget how to ride a bike properly. I mean, you, f you remember how to usually start, but but you often forget how to ride a brake properly. A brake? A brake. Why did you stop? I don't know. One day I just felt like stopping. No deep reason behind it. Just like me and cooking. That and almost burning my place up. <laughs> When's Stella coming? Now that you mention it, she's a bit late. Let me call her. You do that. I'm going to take my break. Tell Gil if you need anything else. Sure. I'll, I'll, I'll be sure to ask Jill. Ugh. Like, it's true. It's just so true. Ugh. Like, like the, the thing is, is that, like, you feel it in your heart, Mal, how true uh, it is. I hate it when you n n know the content of my heart, Tony. Wow. You're making me sound like a phantom thief. A uh, thief? No, 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 don't point at me, Mal. I know, I know I'm not pointing at you. I know what time it is. I'm not pointing at you. You pointed at my favorite color. I didn't. I, it's, it's brown. Still say make me a bit jealous. I mean, I mean, yeah, they they seem like really good friends. Yeah. Hell, they seem like amazing friends. They do. I mean, aside from the slapping, I guess. Uh, including the slapping. <laughs> Showtime. Uh, those ones. I want that one. That one. Uh -huh. Sure. Yeah. Yep. Whatever. Back. Looks like you've calmed down. I still feel like kicking myself, make no mistake. But I guess I cool down a bit. Say helps a lot with that one, though. I just can't stay mad when I see her. Speaking of which, where is she? I believe she went outside to look for that Stella girl or something. The way you are right now, it feels like I should be protecting you. Uh, Mal, can you take Say? Yeah. Hey, the only thing hindering me is the broken arm. I've gone into burning buildings with a two centimeter deep cut. Yeah, I remember that one. One millimeter more and you would've lost the motor function in your arm. Welcome. Ah, hello, Jill. What's this about protecting who? Yeah, um, I'm sort of like Stella's unofficial bodyguard, but I'm not really fit for such duties right now. Wait, I didn't know that. Me neither. What? My father insists I go everywhere with protection, so most of the time I only ask Say if she feels like going out. She's trained to deal with the kind of things that bodyguards deal with anyway. And she's more fun to hang around with, too. So I'm assuming that gorilla outside is a bodyguard? That's Buster. Pretty cool guy. He played football professionally until he lost his leg in a demolition derby. We've offered him an implant surgery for all his years of service, but he rejects it every time. Well, he got used to the replacement he's using, so maybe it's for the best. It's a thick oak branch on a metal bowl tied to his stump. And yet he can still run faster than me with it. True. 
Do you want something? Wow, that's like that is a wild prosthetic that he <laughs> that yeah. he MacGyvered. Uh huh. I'm fine right now. A brantini, a big one. I'm in a good mood. One big brantini for Stella. Ah, uh, it's been a while since we've made a brantini. A big brantini. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Jesus Christ. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. Oh my God, that was like awful. I mean, it's already got ten ingredients, so it was already big, and he didn't have to do that here. Oh shit. After all these years, I still don't get why the finest and most expensive things come in small packages. Really? Ever tried to go to a restaurant only for them to serve you a really small portion of some fine food? Sometimes you just want to stuff yourself with really cheap food. Say, let's go for some hamburgers later. I'm not taking no for an answer. <laughs> I know what you mean when you say some, you know. You might as well call the place and tell them to prepare everything in advance. Can I ask you two something? Sure. I guess. How did you two meet? Stella showed up in the park I used to play at when I was a kid. We played a couple of times. She started showing up more and more and that was it. Ahem. I don't know why I did the ahem in her voice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right like hold, wait hold on wait quick question when when you like clear your throat <clears> throat> Yeah, no, it's it sounds like you. But but it wouldn't be like ahem. It'd be more like ahem. Sure. Right? Yeah. So, yeah. You said ahem instead of aheming. Oh god. If you want to hear me clear my throat more, uh, you should join us for the next episode of Valhalla. Hey, we really appreciate you watching our bullshit. Um if you haven't already, we'd really appreciate it if you subscribed or go check out our Patreon. And thanks a bunch to the people who already do that. Yeah. Goodbye. That was actually really nice, Mal. Thanks. I like that. Thanks. Yeah.